So I've been trying to improve my game for like the past eight years, and today I'm gonna give you the biggest truths I've learned along the way. Knowing these truths alone is gonna help you get hotter girls and have better relationships. You can't handle the truth. What up homies, it's the homie Dave here and I release new videos every Tuesday and every Friday to help you get the girls you want and become the man you were meant to be. Now, let's cut the bullshit and get to the first truth. So a few years ago, I was in some random country and it just so happened that my mom's friends model daughter just happened to be swinging through that country for a couple weeks too. So my mom, being the great wingman that she is, was like, hey, you know Elizabeth is gonna be over there too, right? You guys should totally link up. So I was like, all right, I can dig it. So I meet up with Elizabeth for a drink and we're having a good time, but things are still a little bit platonic. I'm having trouble really like breaking through and creating a sexual conversation. But I got the fundamentals on point, so I keep leading her. You know, we go for a walk after the bar. We end up back at my place and we're having a drink. At this point, I'm thinking about kissing her, but I'm also afraid like, okay, she hasn't given me a super clear signal she wants it. And if I try to kiss her and she denies me, it's gonna make things super awkward, not just for us, but maybe even for our parents too. So I keep waiting and waiting like I'm in a doctor's office. Then like an hour goes by, but we still haven't kissed yet and we're just chilling on my couch. She says she's tired and she's gonna leave. So I walk her to the door and at that point I'm like, fuck it, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. So I kiss her and we start making out right at the door. But at this point, it's too little too late. She's already tired, she's on her way out and I had a flight early the next morning so I basically wasted an opportunity. Had I gotten out of my head and taken action and actually gone for the kiss, some magic probably would have happened. <laughs> There's so many times where you're in your head thinking, oh man, should I kiss this girl? Or you see the girl over there, like, oh, should I approach her? She's cute, but I don't know. If you just shut up and do it, you're gonna get a better result than if you just keep thinking about it. Either she's gonna kiss you back and the sparks are gonna fly like the 4th of July. You're gonna approach her and you're gonna have tons of chemistry or you're gonna do some embarrassing ass shit, which I have done plenty of. I don't know what many fat guys do, but do uh, you wanna hang out sometime? Uh, no thank you. And either way, you're gonna learn and give yourself a chance. One benchmark you can use is if you're afraid to do something, it probably means you should do it. Number two is that conversation is key. If you know what to say, how to say it, and when to say it, your life is gonna be so much easier. You're not gonna hesitate to approach girls because you're gonna be confident that you can keep the conversation going after you say hello. Now, if you're not happy with your conversation skills where they are right now, then check this out. I got something awesome for you. I wrote a book called Conversation Casanova and in it, you're gonna learn how to talk to girls in any situation. It gives you all the tools you need to be able to approach girls, flirt with them, connect with them, and bring them home. Now this book has sold 30,000 copies worldwide, so it's helped guys everywhere from all different countries to improve with women and finally get the girls they've always known they deserved. And I wanted to help you too, which is why for the next few days, you can get the book for just 99 cents, which is an insane discount. The reason I'm discounting it to 99 cents is for one, to make it as easy as possible for you to improve with girls. Bro, it's less than the price of a freaking candy bar. And for two, because when it's priced lower, more people can get it. The ranking stays high on Amazon and the message can continue to spread around the world. But the discount is only gonna last a few days before it goes back to its regular price. So if you wanna take advantage, make sure to click the link in the description to grab your copy on Amazon. <laughs> Number three, you're the average of your five best wingmen. Back in college, I used to go out with a couple of guys who were kinda shitheads. They weren't bad dudes, they were just kinda negative sometimes and they weren't super amazing with girls. As a result, when I went out with them, I wouldn't get the best quality girls either. But as I got older and I started hanging out with higher and higher quality dudes who were better with women, who were successful in self-development and that kind of stuff, 
it got a lot easier. Girls would associate me with these other guys and be like, oh, this guy, is, he's a cool dude. His friends are cool too. Plus, I was confident in these dudes to talk me up, distract a friend, or just understand the dynamics of an interaction and not fuck it up for me. You're the Tinder girl. He's been killing it on Tinder. Oh. We met at a baseball game. Are we talking about the same Christian? The fact is, man, the better the dudes you hang out with, the higher the quality of girls you're gonna be able to attract. So stop hanging out with shitheads. So I got a juicy little story for you guys. This is actually back a few years ago when I was still living with your boy Had a Beast. So I started dating this girl a few weeks beforehand, but I was still messaging girls on dating apps and I was still kind of trying to set up dates here and there basically because I was just kind of a dick and I wasn't taking the relationship seriously. So one day we were hanging out at her apartment. She had a really nice apartment, by the way. She was like my sugar mama back in the day. She's in the shower. I'm in the living room sending out some messages on dating apps and she gets out and I go to the bathroom to get in the shower, but I leave my phone outside. I come out, you know, five or 10 minutes later looking fresh to death and all of a sudden, this girl's acting kind of weird. Catch me outside, how about that? I'll never forget this. She looked at me and said, Dave, why don't you look at your phone? Of course, there were like three messages from Tinder that popped up on there and she had read all of them. She caught me in the act and I felt like a complete piece of shit. I still remember hitting up How to Beast for advice, being like, yo bro, what do I do? I'm so fucked right now. Eventually I realized I need to stop doing this and if I get into a relationship, I gotta take it seriously. Now I'm dating a Yuki and the idea of cheating never even crosses my mind because we're trying to build something together and why would I want to go have sex with some random girl to jeopardize all that we're trying to build? Plus, she a fiery Latina girl. She probably chopped me up and put me in a taco. But yeah, overall, I'd say two of the biggest things I've learned is that number one, cheating isn't worth it because of all the mayhem it creates in your life. Like you have to basically tell all these lies and live a double life. And number two, it just destroys your integrity and that's really all you have as a man. If you can't trust your own word, if people can't trust your own word, then what do you have? And I don't know about you, but that's not the kind of man I wanna be anymore. So yeah, don't cheat. And if you feel like you really wanna cheat, then just break up with your girl because you clearly don't value the relationship. <laughs> Listen, back in the day, I was a broke ass door to door salesman. So basically I'd be walking around, knocking on doors and trying to sell windows and roofing. I was also living at my parents' house, but at the same time, I was still getting a lot of hot girls. But I was also trying to learn profitable skills like copywriting so I could make more money in the future. And women really liked that ambition and potential, even though I didn't necessarily have a bunch of money right in that moment. But here's the thing, man. Being that broke ass dude with a shitty job and a lot of ambition who gets girls is only gonna be cool for so long. Eventually, you're gonna have something to show for it if you actually wanna keep high quality girls around for the long term. Cause listen, most high quality girls are just not gonna date a guy who has nothing going for him. That's just the way it is. So you gotta level up your life, not just for them though, really not for them at all, but for yourself. The more you level up, the more you're gonna feel good about your circumstances and the more you're gonna be okay with having someone come in and be with you like a high quality girl. <laughs> Listen man, so much of your success with game and your success with women comes down to what you believe about yourself and what you believe you deserve in life. If you believe you're not attractive enough to get the hottest girls, then that's what's gonna happen. If you believe other guys are better than you, that's the way it's gonna be. But if instead you adopt empowering beliefs, like one really empowering belief is assuming girls are attracted to you until proven otherwise, that's gonna change everything. Think about it, you go up to a girl thinking, oh, I'm just a piece of shit, she's not gonna be into me, and you go up and talk to her, is that really gonna go well? On the other hand, if you go up to her thinking, this girl wants me, and you start talking to her, and you come from that mindset, it's a lot more likely to go well because you're gonna act like the type of man she's gonna be attracted to. Here's what I want you to do, man. Think about each of your beliefs that you have about women. Then ask yourself, is this belief helping me or is it hurting me? If it's not helping you, then see if you can write down a different belief that would empower you and start trying to focus on that instead. I can't stress how important this is, man. For example, every time I'm walking into a bar or club, I come from the mindset like every girl in here is checking me out. The result is 
a lot of girls check me out and shit goes pretty well. <laughs> check it out, man. You ever walking around during the day or out at night, then all of a sudden you see a girl and you get instant butterflies. Your gut starts telling you, bro, go and talk to that girl right now. Sure, she's attractive, but it's not just because she's hot. There's plenty of hot girls in the world that this doesn't happen with. It's like your intuition is telling you that something about this girl is different. Almost every time I've gotten this feeling, it's led to me having an amazing connection with the girl almost immediately. Like when I go up and talk to her, it feels like we're the only two people in the world. This has led to some of my best relationships and best connections with women in my entire life. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's some type of magic. I don't know what the fuck is going on. All I know is that when your intuition, when your gut is pushing you towards a girl, you better go up and say hi. But here's the thing, man. If you're not working on your conversation skills, you're not working on it yourself, you're not trying to improve your game. When you see that girl, when you get that intuition, you're not gonna be ready for it. So you wanna make sure you handle all the other things we've talked about in this video, cause they are gonna prepare you for that magical moment. All right guys, these have been the biggest dating truths I've learned over the last few years. Now don't forget, you can grab my best-selling book, Conversation Casanova, for just 99 cents for the next few days. Just click the link in the description to grab your copy. And bro, I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.